residential area uh, is threatened by uh, rising waters. Uh, an emergency evacuation order means, uh, quite simply, uh, we believe that you are in a dangerous lo location. Uh, we believe that there is a threat to your health and safety. Uh, and we are advising you uh, to leave that area. Uh, and that is, uh, you know, in essence, uh, the, whole, the entire meaning of an evacuation order. Now, in the case of uh, rising floodwaters, uh, it quite often happens uh, that people do not uh, heed the order. Uh, they do make a decision of their own uh, whether or not uh, they need to evacuate. And uh, that always creates, you know, the, the same question. And that is, you know, would we forcibly uh, move people out of their uh, home or out of the place where they are living? And the answer uh, is almost always no. Uh, you know, that is not the purpose of the order. The purpose is to, in essence, put people on notice uh, that we believe that they should move to a different location. What happened uh, in the last couple of days is what we knew would eventually happen. Uh, winter conditions have moved in on North Dakota. Uh, and we knew that that uh, main camp on the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers land uh, would be problematic uh, when snow arrived. Uh, snow has uh, arrived with a vengeance. Uh, Bismarck got uh, 18 inches of snow in this storm uh, and right away uh, I think people can see uh, the added danger that that brings in an area where people are living close together there essentially are no roads or streets uh, other means of uh, getting around safely uh, and now if we were to have another uh, similar snow event uh, about the same as we just had you create the potential for people literally being buried, uh, you know, with snow in that area, and it becomes uh, truly dangerous. So that is the purpose of the order. Uh, we're encouraging people to uh, find a better place to be. And as we get into the uh, later stages of the winter, uh, we also have a danger of <coughs> flooding in that area. Ice jams do regularly form on the Missouri River. That area has a history of backing up water uh, and inundating uh, much of that area. Uh, now that is not about to happen in uh, November or December probably, uh, but it certainly can happen uh, during the winter. So all in all, uh, not a good place to be and uh, everybody needs to know that. Um, I guess um, we would uh, just take any questions you might have. We've got uh, the Adjutant General here, the Lieutenant Governor, and uh, the head of my Highway Patrol. Uh, if you have any, any questions about uh, how this works. Do we just jump right in there? Sure. And please identify yourself uh, when you... Sounds good. Uh, Governor, this is Ernie Scheider with Reuters. Um, can you sort of just explain what happened yesterday when there was a lot of miscommunication with Martin County Sheriff uh, and the Department of Emergency Services as to, you know, blocking supplies, not blocking supplies, creating a roadblock, not creating a roadblock? Um, I think there was a lot of confusion yesterday about that. Can you sort of unpack how that happened and, and just sort of, you know, give us an update as to where we are right now? Well, yes. Uh, obviously, uh, there was plenty of confusion, and that's why we're here. Um, I think that uh, there's a, just a misunderstanding of exactly how we're going to use this evacuation order. Um, we have, uh, you know, people maybe trying to make comments about, you know, how much legal authority there is in an executive order. Uh, that's an entirely different question. That's not what we're talking about here. Uh, you know, we are not claiming that we have any special authority to do anything unusual. Uh, we will not uh, be blocking uh, 
supplies to people of food and water and clothing. Uh, obviously, that would be a, a huge mistake from a humanitarian standpoint to do anything like that. Uh, all we're saying is that we encourage you uh, to find a better place to be. And uh, we will uh, continue to do that. And we want the entire public to know uh, that this is, this is not a safe place. Uh, no, uh, we are not uh, going to have uh, roadblocks and uh, uh, we are not going to be stopping vehicles. Gotcha. What if the protesters move just south of the Cannonball to the reservation? Does that not still create the same exact problem? Well, the, uh, there, there is definitely a dilemma there. Um, you know, with many, many people are in that uh, large camp. Uh, you know, what options do they have? Um, over the last few months, uh, there has been a lot of talk about providing more shelter uh, in the Cannonball area, uh, possibly uh, more of a winter-ready camp uh, to be established someplace else. Uh, to the best of my knowledge, that has not really developed to any great extent. Uh, so the options, you know, are limited. Uh, but we do... Um, know that uh, many people who have come to North Dakota uh, have uh, found themselves uh, staying in the, in the casino or in other motels and hotels around. Uh, not everyone is, uh, you know, camped in, in a tent uh, on that property. Why, why, uh, why Governor, why, why issue the emergency order if you're not going to forcibly remove people? Well, we get that question every time there's a flood, too. Um, you know, what purpose does it serve? It, it is an official notice uh, from uh, the state, uh, from the National Guard, from law enforcement, uh, that we may not be able to help you in an emergency situation. Uh, your health and safety may, may very well be at risk uh, imminently. And we want to officially communicate that uh, to people. Uh, if there was some kind of uh, emergency uh, developed in that area, if there was an accident of some kind, uh, there's uh, serious questions whether we would be able to get in, uh, do a rescue, do the things uh, that you would normally uh, be expected to do in, in any kind of a, a, an emergency situation. Governor, the, the Army Corps made it sound as though they were going to uh move people from the camp or at least trying to block people from getting to that camp what's your your view on um, what the army corps seems to be doing here which seems a lot perhaps like setting up a bit of a confrontation on december 5th well uh you'll have to ask the army corps of engineers uh, that question um and they uh, said that uh, December 5th is the deadline for remaining on that uh, core property uh, without a permit and uh, and then later they came out and said that they uh, have no plans to uh, forcibly remove any people I guess that means uh, by deduction uh, that they would just like to see people leave their property is 1806 uh, uh, north of 24, is that being plowed by the state? North of 24. Yes. yes, it is. About a mile yes. stretch yes. from there to <clears throat> the camp itself, Governor. The DOT has been plowing the roads on 1806 all the way up to the camp okay. to provide safe uh, access out of the camp for those that choose to leave. Thank you, Colonel. Governor, is there any plans from uh, the Department of Transportation to uh, evaluate the backwater bridge and clear the bridge? We would very much like to uh, evaluate or test the backwater bridge uh, for safety. Uh, we have reason to believe that it uh, may very well have been damaged by a, a very uh, hot fire there one night. Um, 
And then, of course, um, we would move on to talk about uh, the use of the bridge. Uh, but before we can really do that, uh, we have to establish you know, what needs to be done to the bridge to make it safe again. Now that winter conditions have moved in and we're still slow to get to that evaluation process, is it possible that 1806 could be closed for the next few months? Well, I, I think it would be uh, just speculation on my part, you know, to, to guess at what will develop there. We have not been able to clear the bridge uh, for an inspection. Uh, and I think that we want to be sure that our uh, engineers uh, feel perfectly safe when they're, uh, you know, doing that kind of a test. Uh, there are many things uh, like that that, uh, you know, do seem like they should be resolved. Um, and in that vein, um, I have, uh, as of today, uh, requested a meeting with the Standing Rock Tribal Council. Uh, I've asked to meet with the entire council and discuss uh, some of these uh, questions that we have had for some time, but also to discuss in general how we are going to rebuild uh, the long-term relationship that we have had uh, with the people of Standing Rock, get back to a place someday uh, when uh, people are good neighbors and uh, people are not feeling uh, resentment for things that have happened in the past. Uh, in my opinion, we need to begin now uh, to talk about how we are going to eventually arrive at a peaceful resolution of the situation and, and restore the relationship between North Dakota and the Standing Rock people. Um, so I take it you're not bringing in the National Guard. <laughs> well, or have you have you considered that? And 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 what is your view also on the possibility of rerouting this pipeline? Just all this in the in the vein of, you know resolving this somehow well the uh, the National Guard uh, you know has been called into service a long time ago um, and have been in a supporting role here for some time uh, law enforcement in North Dakota has made, had to make a tremendous uh, commitment uh, because uh, we have had to maintain order uh, keep the peace uh, maintain public safety in Morton County as best we can and I think our law enforcement people and our National Guard have done an outstanding job. Uh, they have been very professional in the way they've conducted themselves. Uh, they have not antagonized people. They have not harassed people. Uh, they have kept people safe. Uh, and I think uh, that is something to be commended. Uh, but we have not at any time uh, ever contemplated uh, going to the main camp and removing people from that area. Uh, they have been on U.S. Army Corps of Engineers land, it's true, without a permit, uh, but uh, we, we have not ever discussed uh, removing them forcibly from that area. If the Army Corps uh, requested police services, National Guard services to clear the land, would you consider that request? I have said to the Corps directly that uh, they really need to take the lead uh, in what they do to clear their property uh, and what they do to evict people who are residing on their property, property illegally. Uh, it's their land, it's their jurisdiction, uh, and they need to step up and be the ones to do that. Uh, they don't have their own enforcement arm, as you know, uh, but uh, they can call on the Justice Department, uh, U.S. Marshal Service, uh, to begin to let people know uh, they're not going to be allowed to stay there. Uh, as I understand it, they do not intend to do anything uh, to forcibly move people. They have not asked us for any help. Governor, is there a change in the route, Governor? The question about changing the route? Oh, um, I am not an expert on the Dakota Access Pipeline, uh, but I'll just say that uh, 
Uh, it's uh, finished in North Dakota. Uh, it's in the ground everywhere, with the exception of the river crossing. Uh, it is about, I believe, 95% completed across the country. 1,172 miles of pipeline uh, almost finished. And I think that uh, to change the, the entire route now uh, is probably not feasible. Is it your opinion that this executive order releases the state from any liability? Should something happen? Well, should someone freeze to death? Should someone get hurt? I, I don't know, Drew, I'm, I'm not into the you know legal aspect of that. Uh, I think it's only responsible though, uh, regardless of the legalities, to inform people that it is our opinion that they are not in a safe situation. Any, I, I, the only thing I would add to that, Governor, is that they have willfully positioned themselves there. They've stayed through the change of the seasons. The state has repeatedly asked them to remove themselves from that property that they are not lawfully on. Uh, the governor's order, as he said, uh, it certainly underscores that this, uh, the situation now is even elevated, but prior to that even, it was apparent that they were there illegally. 